So here I am at the top of the Wasatch Crest Ridge. And I'm flat wore out. I think that that is uh, solitude right there. I can zoom into it. Right there is probably, uh, I don't know if it's a Brighton or Snow uh, Brighton, I think. And I think that's solitude. And then I came up through here, all the way to this ridge here. And if I walk over, there's the bike I have. If I walk over, <coughs> I'm on the ridge on the top of uh, Park City here. And uh, this is just the other side that looks down into Park City. I don't know if you can see anything down there or not. There's some snow up here. My asthma's kind of kicking in because it's sweating the butt off of it right But. That's about the size of it. That's me right there. I'm whipped already, but I think the rest of it's pretty much downhill after this little, little climb right here. Check back in with you a little later. So I don't know if you can see how beautiful it is, but I'm trying to view, zoom in on some all the flowers. Hey Wes, how are you? What's wrong? Your bike isn't back? What's wrong? Your bike isn't back? Are oh, you fading in and out one of those what? Yeah? Yeah? Well, hold on a second while I've got you. Just pause a second. I'm standing on the top of uh, Crest Ridge Trail videotaping right now in Utah. It's up a big cottonwood canyon and it's uh yeah all the way I rode from Mill Creek Road I must have been an hour and 50 minutes uphill <laughs> but I'm at the very top of uh, uh, where I could stand and see uh, solitude on one side and uh, Park City on the other side and now I'm riding across the ridge right now and I'm just filming. I stopped to do some filming. So, yeah. Uh, it's pretty cool. Hey! A little different scenery than Florida. I'll bet. <laughs> the climbs are a little bit longer, too. Yep. This is unbelievable. So, I guess you do a lot of road riding down there? No, I do a lot of mountain biking. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they have uh, some pretty good trails. No long, long climbs. They have yeah. a, what's called a, a limestone a rock quarries uh -huh. that uh, will have a, a couple hundred feet of elevation change. Yeah. But uh, yeah. it should be. It should be like it should be full. 
So not a whole lot of snow down here this year, no, huh? Not this year. Apparently last year was great. What's out this here? Was rough. And actually on the preserve, there's no wildflowers. It's too dry. Oh. It's covered with them. Well, there's a lot of flowers back there. I, I, I know, stopped them. If you get up high enough, it's, you know, snow melts a little bit later. So I imagine a lot of people try to get up here and uh, camp around that place, right? I imagine so. It's pretty accessible. Oh. I just can't believe how clear the water is. Not something. You can see like high mineral content with that color too. Yeah, you know, I sometimes go up to Georgia and ride and all the all the lakes up there are just like, you know, from the silty clay. Ooh, yeah. And they're all muddy. They just all look terrible. Yeah. Not quite the same, is it? Mm -mm. So this is Park City over here. Well, that's actually, that's Kimball Junction. Park City's a little further to your right, up that canyon. Well, so Park City would be about you know, here or so. Oh, okay. But, it was, um, uh, we saw it when, we first, when exactly, I first came that over. Was, that was Park City. And then this is Kimball Junction. It's right there. That's the 80 coming down. Oh, there. okay. There we go. That's 80 if I can hit it. Hit it. And then um, the 40 is the far one there. And then 224 you can't see, but it's, that's sort of at the base of the mountains here. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be seeing this side of the mountain when I came up here for the ride. It's awesome. Yeah. And then back there, is that like the Bonneville Salt Flats you can see yeah, right there? Yeah, that's that, exactly. That's uh, salt, Great Salt Lake, and then that's Salt Lake City right there straight ahead. The salt Lake City is kind of behind this mountain and then down through there. You're doing a, uh, and you're like my idol. You you do what? Oh, help manage the nature preserve. Manage the nature preserve, yeah. preserve, and you Park live right City. right down there. Right there in the big field, an old stone farmhouse. <laughs> and you get paid to do it. Get paid to do it, and get free uh, free room and board. Oh jeez. All I have to do is put up with the ridiculous questions the locals ask. <laughs> The locals? I think it'd be the out-of-staters. Well, that's those are the locals now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. I now made it down to this lake right here. You can see all the aspens right through there. Here's the lake that I was just looking at. It's pretty dang big when you get down here. And I think that I could probably just retire right here. I'll build a little home right on this spot. And you can see some of the riders that... I don't know if I can zero this in. The, some of the riders. Right up down the ridge. That's where I was. here at this lake. Looks like we're getting some ridges here from something. It's a little bit windy. But as you can see the water is just as clear as can be. This water. That's a pretty good ways to the other side over there. For some reason, they say no swimming. I don't know that anybody would want to swim here because. Let me test it. I'm sure it's freezing. Ooh! And where I go from here, I really don't know. Um, hopefully somebody can tell me. But you can see, cutting through all those aspen trees is really, really beautiful. I don't know if you can see the tops of all those trees. And there's my bike and my pack.